As a self-taught artist, AJ Jacobs' love for all different kinds of art started at an early age, and he shares his story with us. My love for art started as a kid, as a toddler. Uh, I used to paint and draw all the time. It just progressed from there to canvases, to, uh, to sculpture, to mixed media, and everything I could lay my hands on. I love art. It's something that you're involved with all day long. You wake up and you think about it, and during the day, you continue with it. It's something that makes you see differently and it's something that fulfills the soul. The meaning of any art piece is often said to lie with the beholder. Different art pieces are inspired by different things, but as long as there's passion behind the artwork, the creativity will start to flow to create something amazing. The process of making an artwork starts with enthusiasm and passion. That's what you need. You need to line those colors up and have the canvas ready and focus more on the process than the end rather. Especially if you're a beginner, start playing and um, see what it does and how you can, you can even put some coffee on your artwork if you want to. And we do that as well uh, to enhance that, that element of play, which is very important in, in a work of art. AJ also holds regular workshops, classes and art retreats for his students, teaching them how to create different art pieces using a variety of media. Each medium has its own unique characteristics that require different techniques to create a desired effect in an artwork. These are the students busy with all their respective artworks. Uh, we have oil paints, very popular, undersea photograph, Tretchikov remake, also in oils. We find that portraiture is very popular. People like people. And then here from India, and then also figurous, figurative studies in oils, uh, where Ian is doing an undercoat at the moment. We have Marika doing a, quite a modern uh, take on watercolor. Here we have pastel and pencil and portraiture. Very, very popular. And um, here we have a background, we're doing the background for the final touches of this portrait, also in oils. Here we have a mixed media of ink and jick and pastel. This is for people who like to play a lot with uh, art mediums. And portraiture, and this is a pencil sketch also of, uh, in portrait, um, of Wolverine. There are a number of different painting techniques that one can learn. Each has its own particular methodology, but at the end of the day, it's all about creativity. As you can see, there's a big variety of scale, medium and format, from portraiture to landscape, to people, to figurative studies, to animals, all these kinds of things that are different and might appeal to the artist or the student and uh, you don't have to stick to one thing you can try all of them if you want there are endless ways to create art pieces endless art materials to choose from and if one takes a moment to look there is inspiration all around us as ralph emerson once said every artist was once an amateur starting out as an artist is not as hard as it may seem when you like art, the first step that you should do is to start collecting. By collecting, I mean photographs that you've been taken or works of art that you like. Collecting those things and keeping it and making it yours. Putting it in a book and start sketching about it or writing ideas about it and then evolving into it. And then, of course, you can phone any uh, educator in your area and see what they offer for you. Making a career out of selling your art is not the easiest thing to do, but AJ has found a great method to feed his soul with his passion for art. I love what I'm doing. It is all involving every day of my life. It's the most fascinating and amazing life that you can have as an artist and as an educator. <laughs>